But when I was I was over in Costa Rica on my uh, honeymoon, and I bought a bunch of Costa Rican coffee, and that shit is amazing. But I got it in the bag, so then I got that little fucking thing you put in the Keurig machine, but I got to buy those little filters, so it fills them up so it makes a single cup. And uh, so I had to buy them through Amazon, too. So why am I telling you guys this? Nobody gives a shit that I bought fucking co- little coffee filters from my Keurig machine. See, that's when you need to just get to the point. What's this podcast about? All right, cut the other shit. All right? We're on the train right now. We're on a bus. We're listening to my car or whatever, and I'm almost at my stop. I want to know what this is so I could decide if I want to keep listening. And you're telling about your coffee habits. Nobody gives a shit. It's not that interesting. I don't drink in any weird way. Nothing it, it, you know, crazy happened with the coffee. Nothing crazy happened when I bought it. So f- go fuck myself. And I'll tell you, that, that that is a good segue. I am fucking good at my segues. Speaking of listening to this in your car or the train, the bus, wherever the fuck you are, is the reason you're doing this and listening to this podcast is because you are not listening to regular terrestrial radio anymore because it fucking stinks. I had to rent a car recently and it didn't have any satellite in it and I didn't have my, I forgot to bring my iPod, so I was stuck driving back and forth to gigs and around town with fucking regular radio and it is just brutal i don't even deal with it anymore because i don't it's almost like you know you've had cable tv for so long that all of a sudden you're stuck somewhere and there's no cable so all you have is like the local channels like the two four set you know abc nbc and cbs and you're you're like are you fucking kidding me i gotta watch the voice at nine o'clock when i could be watching the walking dead or whatever or breaking bad or some shit and this is all, I have four choices, and then I got to watch the 10 o'clock news. What, what is this? This stinks. Get me out of this. Well, that's what terrestrial regular radio is. It's dying because they're conservative. They're not keeping up with the times. What's happening is the fucking idiots that program it are so afraid that they're losing their audience, which they are, is they're making it even more conservative. They're playing even less you know, non-recognizable songs. You know, the classic rock station is cutting, you know, 30 more songs out of their format that, you know, because they might be a little obscure. It might be, you know, that that song, uh, you know, on the Tattoo You, Rolling, the Rolling Stones Tattoo You record, uh, Waiting on a Friend. Ah, not everybody knows that one. You know, maybe only 60% of our audience knows Waiting on a Friend. But... 95% no start me up. So let's just stick with start me up because God forbid we play fucking waiting on a friend, which is one of the best stone songs. Fucking amazing. The video is fucking amazing too. Cause yeah, at least, you know, Rolling Stones are one of the biggest bands in the world, but no, nobody knows that song. You fucks. No, we did a survey. We sat people down and they told to check off the Rolling Stones songs. Only 60% checked off waiting on a friend. You fucking idiots. You, that's what you, that's where your research come from. There's a station in Chicago that, you know, tried playing it and they got a fucking people meter and people tuned out. Regular radio has this thing that they used to have Arbitron ratings. They used to mail shit to you, fill it out, and that's how they got their ratings. Now it's this thing called the people meter where I guess people walk around with this meter on they give to them and they, you know, pretty much can update whenever they turn a station or whatever like that. So now, and, you know, they're going on like the 10% of people or the 5% that they give it to, meaning that's 100%, which is fucking ridiculous. A soccer mom living in the suburbs is not listening to the same shit a 22-year-old that lives in fucking New York City is listening to. So it makes no makes no sense. So so they have so what's going on is so they know. Oh, somebody changed the channel. Like what's happening now with comedy is like we used to go into a town as a comic and go on all the local morning shows, right? That's a great way for people to know we're in town to go to the club, like the Improv in Orlando or whatever, you know. So now you go into a town and like half the stations won't have you on. They're like, well, they got people meters now, and they say as soon as people in their cars go into work, here, a, a comedian or a guy in a band talking as an interview, they switch stations what are you fucking stupid that's what that that's what so so they don't have it you know you know say say a good band like fucking i don't know uh you know 
Say Rob Zombie's in town. He wants to do an acoustic set in the morning. Oh, you're not going to have him on? Yeah, because people don't listen. You know, they, they they tune out, so we can't have Rob Zombie doing an acoustic set with fucking one of the best guitar players out there, John Five, in his band. No, we can't do that, but, you know, we got to get back to George Starogood, Bad to the Bone. Nobody wants to fucking hear that song anymore. Nobody wants to hear the Chili Peppers. Nobody wants to hear Pearl Jam. Nobody wants to hear Soundgarden. Nobody wants to hear fucking Tom, the same fucking songs over and over again. Nothing wrong with those bands, but play something different. But regular radio is so afraid that they're even getting even more conservative because they don't want they think they're gonna they're gonna lose more of our audience if they play something a little obscure. That's when you have to go think outside the box. Go play more obscure stuff. That's why people get satellite radio. They go, well, you know, we have an iPod, so I can listen to all my heavy metal on my iPod. So why would I want to get satellite radio? Because you know, even though they have three heavy metal channels, well, you got talk radio on there. You got Howard Stern. You got Opie and Anthony. You got Jason Ellis. You got Ron and Fez. You got unique. You got Jim Brewer's got a talk show. There's a bunch of shit on there. There's a Playboy radio, whatever it is. NFL Network is all radio. So you have interesting talk that people will pay for because people can get their music anywhere, anytime. So maybe they want to hear some talk, some, some you know, people that don't know how to put a good talk show on. So that's why they're paying for it, you fucking assholes. So maybe people do want to hear talk in the morning. You're telling me if Louis C.K.'s in town, you're not going to have him on? Because, you know, people might tune out? Are you? Fu- Meanwhile, the guy just sold, you know, 5,000 tickets at the local venue and sold it out in like a day. And you're not, you're not going to have Kevin Hart on, who's selling out arenas? Because, you know, people might not listen. I was did this ra- radio uh, recently, and uh, the program director was there. And we were talking about the commercial break, and he was saying how uh, he was over in Amsterdam, and it was crazy, the radio over there. They were, they were playing Ramstein in the morning, and it's kind of it's kind of heavy to play in the morning. What, what, is, what the fuck does that mean? Regular radio, if you notice, they would never play Metallica till nighttime because they were afraid to say, ah, it's too heavy. That's too heavy of a song in the morning. So, you know, we got to save that for the late afternoon or evening. Does that make any sense? Has anybody ever listened? So nobody ever listens to Metallica in the morning. God forbid. God forbid it comes on at 10 in the morning. Like, holy shit. God forbid at 830 when you're fucking driving to work, Master Puppet comes on. This is fucking ridiculous. They can't be playing this this early. I got to, I'm a huge Metallica fan. I've seen them every time, but not at not at not at 8 30 in the morning when i'm in the car really no you can't play it there who's going this is way too heavy for this early in the morning i could see if you set your alarm and fucking slayer comes on i get it at six o'clock in the morning like holy shit well i I, let me at least wake up before the fucking pounding music but once you're up and and you, you can't play it no, we just got to play the Chili Peppers. Give it away now. Come on. Scar Tissue, whatever the fuck that song is. Yeah, let's just go with the Safe Soundgarden song. It's going to, you know, Black Hole Sun. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it's going to be okay. Tom Petty, you know, Free Fall. And yeah, that's a, that's a good song for the morning. That gets people going. No, it doesn't. It doesn't get people going, you fucks. You don't know anything about music. You're fucking stupid. And that's why you're not getting with the times. You're not, all, all you're doing it, you're just like the record companies when they wouldn't play with Napster. When Napster came out, they go, fuck you. You're not taking our stuff. You're not going to, unlo- you're not going to download our stuff for free. Oh, really? Oh, so when Napster got shut down, 18 other, 18,000 other places opened up and everybody stole from there, motherfuckers. If you just would have worked with them, you could have split the money, you greedy motherfuckers. And that's why they're out of business, the record companies. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you can't get on your private plane anymore and fly to New York for two days to go see a Springsteen concert with every, all the artist money. Yeah, I guess you can't do that anymore because you didn't realize how big the Internet was and how the shit was. OK, you're going to shut down this site. We'll just open up over here. And every kid knew. All right, what's the new site? Go to this place. You can steal it from here. Go to here. You can get it from here. And that's what regular radio is doing, too. Or if they don't do that, you know, if they if they decide to think outside the box and, you know, not play music anymore. They're, they're, every station now is a sports station, all sports talk. They got every every major city has like three all sports stations now. You don't need three. All right. Just one. One is fine. That's it. They're putting them on FM and New York's got like three. Philly's got three. 
Miami's got three. Nobody wants to hear that much. It's just fucking inane nonsense. Just give me one. One station that does it well and that's it. You, do you really need three stations of fucking idiots calling in? I think the Yankees should trade A-Rod, Cano, and Jeter for Matt Cain, Lincecum, and Sandoval. What do you think? I don't, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, good, good, good call. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, trade fucking two guys that are about a year away from retirement. One guy that's fucking on drugs. Uh, for for two great pitchers and a fucking great hitter that's 28. Yeah, that's a good yeah, good phone call you fuck. But that's what you got and now you got three channels of that shit. Three channels of people calling in. What do you think? I think the Rangers can make the playoffs if they could just win the next four games. Really? Is that what you think? Is that what you waited online for uh, on on hold for for 45 minutes? That's what you think? Wow. You know, we need a fourth spa- uh, all-sports station. This is crazy. This is such fucking interesting talk that we need four because there's so many people with great trades and ideas out there. There's a reason you're not a GM because you don't fucking know anything. Okay, I'm not a GM. I don't know anything. I could go, hey, that might be good to sign that guy. If they don't, I trust my GM. Go, yeah, he must know something I don't know. Holy shit. The commercials, too, in regular... The, the WFAN in New York is all sports stations. It's been there for years, and it's a good station. It is. But um, in one hour, in the one-hour program, and they play... They're, there's actually 26 minutes of content an hour. out of So there's 34 minutes of commercials and bullshit and 26 minutes of actual talk. Who is listening to that? Who? 26, 34 minutes of fucking shit of, of, of them not being on the air. Cause, and I'm including like every 20 minutes they do a thing called the 2020 update. So at 1020, 1040, and then at the top of the hour, they do an update of all the sports, what's going on in sports. Nothing is going on in sports. If it is, then fucking break the story. Every 20 minutes, you don't need to give me an update. Oh, pitcher for the Yankees today is Andy Pettit going against the Detroit Tigers, uh, Justin Verlander in the middle of April. Nobody gives a fuck who's pitching. Nobody gives, you know, yeah, well, Pettit says, you know, the Yankees got to get going. They started off at one and four. And so Andy says, uh, you know, and then they play a little clip of Andy. Hey, you know, look, uh, you know, we're a little rusty, but I think we're going to get going. I think we're really going to have a good season. Did I really need to hear that fucking three times an hour? No, nobody does. Everybody's got phones. Everybody's on Twitter. They're on Facebook. They're hooked up to ESPN. They got the fucking apps. They can get they can get their sports in two seconds on there, on Twitter, on ESPN, on SI.com. On your Facebook page, hey, fucking, you know, LeBron James just blew out his Achilles. Everybody knows that in about three seconds now. We So now I got to wait till 20 after the hour and then another 20 minutes. And then you're going to give me the same shit 20 minutes later? Are you fucking out of your mind? What year are we? We're not living in 1982. Nobody gives us. Don't you? Know, you got interest. You got somebody on, maybe a Ray Lewis or something like that. You want to talk to him about him using that fucking deer antler spray. You know, whatever it is, you got an interest, and then you got to go. All right, we got to go because we got to get to that twenty twenty. So we got to update fucking Andy Pettit versus Verland to pitching again every twenty minutes. Nobody gives a shit. There's not breaking sports news. If there is, just go. Holy shit! Just came across the wire. You know, uh, LeBron James says he's going back to the Cavaliers after this year. Okay, that's all you got to say. When it gets to 20 after, go, nothing's going on, so we're just going to keep talking. That's what you should say. If I was that programmer, program director, that's what I would tell them. Just keep fucking talking. Nobody gives a shit. As soon as that comes on, everybody tunes out because they know for the next... Fu- the, 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 the 2020 is like two and a half minutes, and there's like five minutes of commercial, so you don't have to come back for eight more minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, and regular radio. Oh, you know how we're going to combat satellite and we're going to podcast and people listen and tune it out? We're going to have an iHeart radio app. 
Really? So what we're going to do is you can listen anywhere. So if you're in Phoenix, you could still listen to the, you know, the rock station in New York, which there isn't any. You could still listen to the, you know, so wherever you are, you could tune into the who the fuck is going to be in Arizona on vacation and go, I got to listen to the fucking classic rock station in New York because I might be missing that fucking Bob Seger tune again. They might be playing old time rock and roll. I'm on vacation with my family, but let me fucking get my iHeart radio app and hook it up and let me see if they're fucking if did they just play the doors light my fire again fucking awesome that's amazing how cool is it that i'm in phoenix and i can hear light my fire in new york it's really not that cool it's not and nobody would ever think that's cool you can call a hundred people up and explain do you think this is cool and they go no and fucking hang up on you if you think that's cool there's something fucking wrong with you you're a fucking nerd yeah, good. Uh, get your iHeartRadio app. That's a way to combat it. That's good. Yeah, ooh, that's fucking cr- Oh, man, you guys are really... Now Now no one's listening to podcasts and satellite radio anymore. Because you guys got us. Keep playing the same shit over and over again. Yeah, gotta be safe. I was in a bar recently where they had a jukebox. And I, was, I, and I loved that because I love the reactions on people when songs come on. Okay, and this is what came on. The jukebox. A Metallica song came on, then a Prince song, then a Springsteen song, then a Skinner song, ACDC, and then Garth Brooks. And you know what? Nobody left. Nobody goes, this is fucking bullshit. Let's go to another bar. Everybody was fucking, oh, cool. All right, this one, if they didn't like the song, they didn't fucking cause a fit. They didn't go crazy. All right, everybody, but everybody pretty much knew the songs. I, I knew the Prince song. It was a pretty, I forget what it was. It was a pretty good song after a Metallica song. I'm like, all right, this is cool. And then when the Skinner song came out, I'm like, fucking nice. Saturday Night Special, awesome. And then ACDC came out, fucking cool. All right, Garth Brooks, I went in and fucking dropped the deuce, but whatever. Nobody cared. Nobody moved. Nobody goes, what the fuck? I'm leaving. This is bullshit. I'm not, I'm not used to this. But that's what regular radio thinks. God forbid. You can't play a Metallica song and then a Springsteen song. That's crazy. How could you play ACDC and Leonard Skinner? Uh, I don't know. I think that everybody that has a fucking ACDC uh, CD in their collection on their iPod probably has a Leonard Skinner on there too. I think it's going to be okay. Nobody's going to get mad. You fucking assholes. And I'm only angry because I was stuck in the car for fucking a week with this shit. I gotta listen to this crap. Three songs and six minutes of commercials. Oh, we're back. Oh, good. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. What are you gonna hit me with now? Ooh, uh, even the lucky ones by Tom Petty. Ooh, you switched it up. You didn't play me free falling. Ooh, you got me. You motherfuckers. You guys are good. Ugh. It's just brutal. It's just fucking corny radio. You make sure you give the in the morning. Make sure you give the traffic eight minutes and and say the weather. Nobody look. Listen, when I'm fucking driving in rush hour traffic, going to the city in the morning or whatever I got to do, or even in the afternoon, I listen to the fucking satellite. I'm listening to Stern, Opie and Anthony, or whatever. I'm whatever I'm listening to. Jason Ellis, fucking sports or something like that. When I need traffic, I switch the station over. To the AM, when I know to give traffic at the eight minutes after the hour, and the other one gives it at 11, and there's another one in New Jersey that gives it at fucking 18 and 33 and 48 minutes after and three. So I know. So when I, I'm listening to something, I'm like, all right, I need to know the traffic. What the traffic, the tunnel. I just switch the station. Hey, no traffic in the tunnel. Okay, cool. And I switch back. That's all I do. I don't need, I don't go, why is not, why is Howard Stern not giving me the fucking traffic in New York at this time? Why, how can these guys, how can this, you know, the NFL radio channel not give me, you know, an update on traffic? I need to, you know, and I need to know the weather. It's 40 and 3 and sunny right now at 9 in the morning, but what's it going to be in the afternoon? I don't know. It's probably going to get up to maybe 52. It's not going to be 90. It's not going to go from 43 to 90. It's 
it's 43 and sunny now. This morning, it's gonna the high is gonna hit 51 today. Tonight's gonna be partly cloudy, and tomorrow's gonna be uh, a high of 58 and partly sunny. Nobody needs to hear that. Nobody gives a fuck. If there's a blizzard coming, go. Hey, man, this rush hour is gonna be we're gonna be fucked this afternoon, so you might want to leave work early. That's the only time. Other than that, people will get their weather from somewhere else. They got an app on their phone. They fucking whatever. It's on the paper that they're reading. Nobody stop giving the fucking weather. Nobody gives a shit unless it's extreme one way or another. Don't give it. Nobody can, every five minutes is 43 and sunny and uh, it's going to hit a high of 51 today and tomorrow. Nobody cares. It's just fucking nonsense. It's drivel. It's fucking drivel. Got to get, go to the traffic lady. What's going on out there? Well, I'll let me tell you something. It's a crazy morning. It's really not that fucking crazy. It's not. It's traffic. It's been around for a long time. It's not fucking crazy. The accidents happen. Okay. Uh, you know, emergency construction happens. Car stall in the Lincoln Tunnel. It happens. It's not crazy. Stop saying that. You know, if there was a fucking sinkhole in New Jersey Turnpike and fucking 100 cars fell in it, that would be crazy. Then you go, it's a fucking crazy morning. Okay, just because a, a, a tractor trailer jackknife, not that crazy. Happens at least five times a day in the United States alone. I didn't look that fact up, but I have a feeling it's probably at least five. But hey, man, look, regular radio's burying themselves. They're digging their own grave. You know what I, I, I compare it to? Remember, you know, uh, when we were force fed those fucking corny traditional sitcoms where it was the same thing, you know, the woman was in charge, the father was dumb, the, the, the guy was dumb, and the kids were wise asses, and dad did everything wrong, and the woman was strong, and dad just said, I'm sorry, I'll go to my room, whatever that shit was, just fucking goofy you know they tried to be pc so they tried so they it just you know they met, tried to meet everybody in the middle and it just became shit you remember all those for all those years all those fucking i didn't even watch any of them because they were so bad but and then all of a sudden cable started coming around and cable started doing their own original programming and then it was like holy shit there's options instead of this fucking goofy shit on nbc and cbs and abc are you kidding me? So then they started putting other, and then everyone started going to cable. Yeah, and it was like this. I don't. I, I'm not going to watch that crap anymore. Well, that's what's happening with regular radio now. You know, and now, and the and then also the reality shows, right? People are like, I don't want to see this force-fed fucking, you know, laugh track shit. You know, the neighbor walks in, hey, ha, huh, how you guys doing? And then someone else walks into the room, and this one walks into the room, and this one with a fucking wisecrack, and then this one walks into the room. Enough. And it wasn't funny. You know, back in the day with Sanford and Son, all in the family, fucking Three's Company, that shit was funny because it was edgy. Now it's just like, look, we've got to play it safe. So, God, you know, God forbid, you know, Larry from, you know, Three's Company, that all the guy wanted to do was get laid. Ooh, that's crazy. But we can't have a character like that, even though they have it on Two and a Half Men. I get it. Other than that, oh, that's a little politically incorrect that the guy just wants to get pussy. Yeah, because no guy does wants that. Yeah, no guy just lives his life for pussy. Yeah, that doesn't happen anywhere. So then all of a sudden the reality show started taking over because like, hey, people are acting actually, actually acting real because it's real shit so and then all all the traditional sitcoms are pretty much gone there's like fucking five or six of them left that's it i love that because they buried themselves they just played it safer and safer instead of fucking taking chances let's a little be a little pc we don't want to offend anybody you know we're on eight o'clock on a on a tuesday night go fuck yourself so that's what's happening that's why nobody's watching freaking regular tv i love that when shows like Breaking Bad and uh, Walking Dead and stuff like that, are, you know, especially Walking Dead, and there's another one, I forget what it is, are beating the fucking regular TV shows on NBC and ABC and CBS. That's beautiful. I love that. That's because they're playing it safe, and people don't want that anymore. They want a little fucking, a little edginess, or something a little different, not the same crap that we were force-fed. Now we have options, so go fuck yourself. All right, I'm done. I got to go to bed. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I got that rage out. So, thanks for listening. <laughs> it was a very abrupt ending, but I just said, all right, I'm done. I, I got nothing else. I got to get the fucking sleep. 
My son's waking up at 7.30 in the morning. He's not going to go, Dad, I don't give a shit that you were up yelling and they were fucking making a podcast up. I shit my pants, I'm hungry, and put some cartoons on. All right, son. I'll kiss your fucking ass.